What's up guys, Tuck here with SNS Smithing. Today we got a really special project with some materials we haven't done in a video before. Alrighty guys, so this here is a really old wrought iron fishing hook I found in a river years ago. It's uh, been forge welded down here. Alright, now what we're going to be doing with this today is we're going to make a uh, bracelet with the wrought iron and we're going to etch it to uh, bring out the pattern a little bit. So what the plan is, I'm going to take a cold chisel, split the forge weld because uh, we have these two separate bars on here for the hook and I'm going to straighten them out and uh, clean them up. I'm going to just tack weld the ends of them together because I'm going to twist it before I make it into the bracelet. So uh, I'm hoping what will happen once it gets etched is the twist of it all will kind of make it look sort of like a rope. But anyway, and uh, I'm just going to tack weld the ends of it together just that way I'm not working with the two different pieces being loose and I know everything's straight and level. And it might possibly help reduce the chance of the wrought iron splitting apart. But uh, for all, by all means, if you want to do this sort of project uh, at your house with mild steel or even wrought iron if you have it, uh, you don't have to tack weld the ends together. It's just an extra precaution I'm taking. Alright guys, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to take a cold chisel here and uh, split our forge weld. That way we just have the two separate bars. There we go. Almost just a little bit more. Okay. Just hanging on by a wee baby thread. There we go. Alrighty. So, there's our forge weld split. So now we've got the uh, two separate pieces. Next thing we're going to do is just uh, straighten them out a bit. And really all I'm going to do, I'm not going to use heat to straighten them out right now. They're pretty small and thin. So I'm just going to straighten them out here, cold on the anvil. It's wrought iron so it doesn't take a whole lot to bend it. So now I'm just going to take them, clean them up on the sander a bit, and then uh, tack them up. Alright, now I'm just going to clean her up. They're cleaned up. Now all I gotta do, I'm just gonna cut them to length real quick. Probably just use a cold chisel for that. And then we'll tack them up. Well, apparently I forgot to push record when I cut them off, but uh, I marked them with a paint marker. Where'd I put it? Right here. I marked them with a paint marker right at six inches. Uh, see, 
There's some paint on this one still. And then I put them on the table of the anvil and cut her off with a cold chisel to six inches. Now I'm just going to uh, tack weld the ends together on here and then we'll just twist her up. Alrighty, ladies and germs, she's tack welded together on focus. There we go. Tack welded together both ends. So now all we gotta do is heat her up. Now we're just gonna blend them welds, those tack welds in. Try to close up some of this gap we got between our bars. Now, since it's wrought iron, you want to work it pretty hot still, like it's cooled off way too much. And I did get a little split right there from uh, working it too cold, so back in the. shut on this half so we'll switch her around now and get working on the other side. Now, next thing all we gotta do left is twist it. guys so she's twisted up uh, the ends are tighter than the middle because I kind of liked that look and instead of rope I think it's just gonna look like some iron vines I hope this etches all right uh, whenever I tested it whenever I did a brake test on it it was a uh, pretty fine grain you know so uh, it might not etch the best kind of like uh, this uh, wrought iron wool there pendant I made a few years ago. It etched kind of okay. Shows up on the camera a little bit. But, uh, I don't know. The only uh, wrought iron I've been able to find is really fine grain. So I don't get, like, the really bold patterns, but I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see after we twisted it, you can see the grains come through a little bit. So, uh, last thing we gotta do here, I'm gonna let it cool down and I'm gonna hit it with a wire wheel. You know, try to get as much of that crap off of there as I can. Well, after we bend it, yeah, we gotta bend it to be the bracelet size, and then uh, hit it with a wire wheel, let her cool down, and I'm um, gonna soak it in muriatic acid to etch it. The back of my wire brush here to start bending this over the horn of the anvil bit. That's 
side, flip it around, do the other side next. Alrighty guys, so there she is. So oh, she fits on nice and easy. Just pop right like that. I might open it up just a tad bit more. It's a little snug, but I mean if it would work right now, but I like stuff on my wrist to be a tad bit looser, so gonna open her up a little bit, probably just shape her a little bit more over the anvil horn cold, just to get a tad more opening out of it and then we'll get on to the etching. I put a scotch bright wheel in the drill press here. We're just going to buff her up a little bit before we put her in the etch. Alrighty guys, she's cleaned up. Uh, you can already kind of see some of the grain showing through in some of the spots. So. I think this will turn out real pretty once it's etched. So, I'll get that all set up. Alrighty guys, so here's the setup. We got the uh, wrought iron bracelet onto this piece of tie wire. And it'll soak in this muriatic acid. This muriatic acid's pretty old. I've used it a few times. It's also been diluted, so it might take a little while. Then we have a baking soda flurry with water to uh, once it's done etching to put it in there and it'll neutralize the acid and then just straight up water to uh, to uh, further neutralize any acid and rinse everything off so here we go in for the plunge can you see her down in there already so we'll let her soak for a bit and come back Alright guys, she's been sitting in the acid for a little bit now. Uh, let's take a peek. She's not done yet, but we'll just take a look at her. Oh, you can see she's starting to uh, etch a bit. So that's good. I was worried that since it was a fine grain wrought iron, it might not... Uh, etch too well so so at least she's etching a little bit anyways so anyway uh when you're doing stuff with this acid you should have respirators rubber gloves and all that stuff but i'm not right now and uh you should be a nice open area i'm doing it outside in the sun so that way the breeze takes all the fumes well not all fumes but takes it away whenever uh i'm not filming right now i'm sitting ways away so and while we're waiting on that to etch for a bit, she's been in for oh, about an hour, about an hour. But uh, anyway, while we're waiting on that to etch, we're going to do a couple shout outs to some other channels. Uh, first one is uh, a channel that used to be, uh, what was it, uh, Death Metal Forge. But uh, he recently had to switch things because of uh, uh, monetization and copyright issues. So. He now has channel uh, Cat's Cradle Forge, uh, and he's working on re-editing all of his original videos and putting them up there and fixing it. So check him out. He's a really cool guy. He does a lot of DIY stuff and uses a lot of simple tools. Uh, well, it's, uh, Daniel Moss is always good. Uh, he's does great work. He's working on a, an anvil now, I think. Uh, who else? Alright guys, and also check out uh, Granddad's Forge, it's, uh, his name's Rob, he's a real nice guy, uh, he also lives in Pennsylvania here, and hopefully someday we could do a collaboration and meet up and do some stuff or something like that along those lines, so check out them three guys, I'll put uh, their uh, links down in the description and some of them in the cards if I can. Alrighty, I'll bring it back whenever everything's done. Alright guys, I just pulled her out of the acid. I don't know how well you can see. Etched pretty well. I could have left it overnight and gave it a real deep etch, but I don't know how well that might be. 
comfortable wise, you know. But yeah, yeah, it's, it etched a lot better than I thought it would, being uh, as uh, fine grained as it was. But yep, uh, she's out of the etch. All I'm really gonna do now is uh, hit her with a wire wheel, clean it up, and then come back to you once that's all done, show you how she looks all shined up, and then we'll get on with it in the video. Alright guys, so there's our wrought iron bracelet, all nice and done. So, thanks for watching you guys, as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, go check out Cat's Cradle Forge, Daniel Moss, and Granddad's Forge channel. Send them some love. Let them know I sent you over. Alright guys, have a good one.